Hi, welcome to EGR 219. Today we are going to talk about chapter 1 that is an introduction to MATLAB. Now I assume that you have MATLAB installed. So essentially I'm gonna shift back and forth between the OneNote screen and the MATLAB prompt. So assuming once you open MATLAB uh, your interface may look slightly different. This is how the MATLAB looks. So essentially you have all the toolboxes and your toolboxes would be located on top but in this version of MATLAB you have toolboxes over here. You also have this command window. So the command window is the user interaction window. So you can type whatever you want and MATLAB would execute it. If you go to file and you click new and say script, this is where you can actually program whatever you want. So you can actually a program uh, your code and execute your code and you can actually use various commands write functions and so on so in this first chapter there are two parts first part is introduction to MATLAB so in the first part we have basic introduction to MATLAB so wherein we interact with uh, various commands, use those commands in the MATLAB. So the part here is, the so first part is introduction and second part is using the symbolic toolbox. In the first video I'm gonna talk about the introduction part wherein we would interact with MATLAB using some commands. In the second video we are going to talk about using the symbolic toolbox uh, essentially doing the symbolic calculations using MATLAB. So let's go back to MATLAB and see what we can do with MATLAB. Now if you look at the textbook, I'm going to follow the textbook fairly closely. So MATLAB can be used as a command line calculator, say x is equal to 1, then I say x plus 4, so you get the answer. And it is important to note that these variables are in the workspace. So you can access the workspace. You can see what the values are. Now sometimes you may have to change uh, the format of uh, the way the, the numbers are displayed. So if you want to see just say help format and MATLAB would give you various formats that are available in the MATLAB environment. Say for an example, uh, you can actually run the example from the help. So check this out. If we say I want the value of pi in a, a short format, then <clears throat> once I evaluate, I get the value of pi in short format. So if I say I want format long and I say pi, can you see that I have got uh, the value of pi which is uh, in this long format. Now as we talked about there are mathematical operations that you can perform and the rules for mathematical operation uh, the preference is same as what we use in the regular notation. 
Now I just want to clarify a few things real quick. MATLAB can deal with complex numbers and the, the line command line you can enter something like uh, z is equal to 5 plus 2 say i so watch z is a complex number where 5 is the real part and 2 is the imaginary part so you have 5 plus 2 and this i stands for square root of minus 1 now moving on uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to try something real quick say we go to MATLAB uh, that are available to us and these functions vary from sine, cosine, tangent, so on. But it is important to note that MATLAB sine function would expect the argument, which means whatever you have uh, in this bracket, this is the argument, needs to be in radians. Say for an example, if I say sine pi by 2 gives me 1. However, watch, if I say sin 90, it gives me something else. So, the, because the, this number, this quantity has to be in radians. The other way we can do this is use the command sin d and then I say 90. So, now uh, you can see that the answer is 1. So if you want this argument, this angle to be in degrees, you have to use sine d. Now something real quick, MATLAB stands for matrix lab and uh, matrix lab because MATLAB treats everything as a matrix. and uh, what we are going to do later, I would add some videos on the matrix and little bit of linear algebra that we need to use. Now just a quick example, say we are in the script and what I want to do is I want to add some comments. Okay, So it is done by percentage, so as you can see comment 1 my first MATLAB program and this is a simple program I say x is equal to 1 and y is equal to x plus 5 now it is important to note you can either save this say file say save and then it will ask you where do you want to save this say in the MATLAB environment it is important to note that the first line has a semicolon second line does not have a semicolon so let's see what happens when I run this program okay so check this out I'm gonna run this program something interesting is going to happen now as you see it did not print X it just printed the value of Y and the reason being this semicolon. This semicolon suppresses the output. So now if I run this again, check this out. Now I have x and y. These are the both values that you would need. And you can, you are welcome to take a look at the help. There is a lot of help available. There are demos and then uh, just for the information you can see about what MATLAB is it's developed by MathWorks it stands for matrix lab and this is the end of the first video uh, and so in the next video we would talk about the symbolic toolbox uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this